not my student today i am going to start the second unit in the water supply and waste water treatment and this is the third unit for drinking water supply treatment drinking water supply and treatment the same unit and same topic the water treatment what is mean by water treatment water treatment is the process of making water suitable or acceptable for end use so if the water naturally available water it won't be in use for so it will consist of some impurities the impurities may be the physical form chemical form and biological form that already we discussed in the characteristics of water that impurity is removed by the water treatment this next drinking water supply the final year we will report unit water supply and waste water treatment will be second unit to go the syllabus here in the state convention water treatment it removes the existing contaminants and reduces the concentration that the water become fit for its desired application So the amount and type of treatment process, treatment process, uh, treatment train depends upon the quality of raw water and standards required after treatment. So the objective of water treatment is here you can see safe water to be safe for human consumption, appealing aesthetically to the consumer, and the waste supply cost we have to give the water to the community. And this is the standard, the highest standard for drinking water. As I said, there is a physical, chemical, and biological parameters present in water, so that should be at the desirable or tolerable limit. If it exceeds the limit, then we have to give the treatment, additional treatment. So here you can see for each parameter, what is that? For the desirable and tolerable limit given by highest standard. If no alternative source, alternative source available and limit extended up to six months. For example, here you can see turbidity. The unit of turbidity is eight kg per square turbidity unit. The desirable and tolerable is less than ten. When it is exceeds the twenty five, when it exceeds the uh, that means less than or uh, less than ten, it is permissible. If there is no alternate uh, source, alternate uh, source, um, water source is not available, or source is not available, water body is not available, then we can uh, take that water up to the desirability limit. If the fifty five is uh, permitted, then color is the same. We all know water is colorless. It is measured using tintometer, and the unit is platinum cobalt scale. But uh, here they are saying by uh, less than ten, then it is desirable. Yeah, less than ten. No other case fifty, but we want to use the colored water normally. Then taste and odor must be good. So if any smell comes, then we want to use that water. And if taste is changing, then we have to go for treatment. Then coming to chemical parameter. So here they are indicating pH, sodium dissolved solid, sodium harmless, chloride, sulfate, chloride, nitrate, calcium, iron. So pH seven to eight point, and no alternate source is five five to nine point five. Total dissolved solid five hundred to thousand five hundred, and maximum acceptable limit is two thousand. Total harmless, total harmless is. Two hundred, two hundred to three hundred, and uh, objectionable are acceptable maximum six hundred. And chloride is six hundred to two fifty, and maximum thousand. And sulfate one fifty to two hundred, and acceptable limit is two. So chloride point to one point two, maximum one point five we get accepted. Sulfates Forty-five, forty-five also accepted. Calcium seventy-five, up to two hundred we can accept. Magnesium zero point one and zero point three, acceptable limit up to two hundred. Here you can see the use 
limits for all the parameters only grant the lecture at PCM. Here you can see conventional water treatment plant area. If uh, raw water from the source it enters the stream. From the streaming, it is uh, the streaming, it removes the floating matter. And particles which is lighter than water, it floats on the water, it is removed through the coagulation, the process of removing the colloidal and suspended particle and very fine particle, it won't uh, settle by the gravitation force. So we have to remove that particle by the process coagulation. So in this coagulation, we will add the coagulant. The coagulant commonly used is this coagulant what will uh, make this? It makes the particle bigger size and it makes the particle to stick. So this uh, coagulation process, uh, next uh, is flocculation. In this flocculation means flock formation. That is a mixing chamber is done in that we will see this uh, coagulation and we will see the other one is this. That uh, uh, flock formation uh, sedimentation. In this, some cases we can use the free sedimentation after the coagulation sedimentation. The sedimentation is nothing but removing of settlable uh, particles without the disturbing the cohesion state. So only allowing the water into the tank and to fill the water then after uh, retention time there will be the three to four hours. After that, the particle gets settled without any mechanical force or any chemical it's settled due to the gravitational force. Then each process here you can see there is a sludge formation. So the sludge is separated, uh, the sludge is collected separately. Then after this filtration unit, then disinfection, storage, distribution. So disinfection is nothing but addition of chlorine to clean the pathogenic bacteria, uh, this we call as disinfectant. So addition of disinfectants to kill the bacteria, pathogenic uh, bacteria that may uh, disease producing bacteria. So harmful bacteria it will be removed by adding chlorine. So this is functions of water treatment. Aeration, chemicals. So here unit treatment is aeration. So here uh, we, we won't add any chemical uh, supply of oxygen whether in the gaseous form. So the removal of uh, unnecessary unwanted color or odor and taste. Then the next process is Screening, already I said, then softening is nothing but removal of hardness and the filtration remaining of colloidal dissolved matter. Disinfection, it removes the pathogenic bacteria. Then selection of treatment process. So here you can see ground water and spring water. So different, we will get water from different sources. At different sources, what are all the treatment required? Different sources, what are all the treatment required? Here you can see. Ground water and spring water, spring water fairly free from contamination, so no treatment or chlorination required. No treatment required, only chlorination is required. Then, ground water with chemicals, minerals, <coughs> gases, <coughs> aeration, coagulation, filtration and disinfection. Lakes, surface water reservoir with less amount of pollution, only disinfection is sufficient. 
in other surface water such as river <coughs> and the impounded reservoir with considerable amount of pollution a complete treatment is required in case of surface water it requires complete treatment that means river canals and the reservoir water we need to treat so this is the first process screening as i said it removes the floating matter the screens are uh, like this only bars the bars are arranged in inclined vertical and horizontal forms so it removes the logs branches bags fish simple process incorporate mechanical gas protect pumps and pipes in water Sedimentation. Sedimentation is the removal of suspended particles by gravitation. And the types of sedimentation type is fill and draw type, continuous process. The shape of sedimentation type here you can see the different shape. It may be a rectangular tank with horizontal flow, circular tank with radial flow, or triangle flow, upper bottom tank with the vertical flow. Here you can see the real type sedimentation tank. It will be very long, no time for all particles to settle out. That would be mean we need a longer sedimentation. Sedimentation either with collaboration. The addition of measured quantity of chemical called coagulants that we use the use in the water to surround the rapid. Formation of precipitate which coagulate and forms a flow. Population. So, the normal coagulates are aluminium sulfate, ferrous sulfate, ferric sulfate, ferric chloride salt. Aluminium salts are cheaper, but iron salts are more effective for the wider pH range. So, ferric sulfate, ferrous sulfate, ferric chloride, lime. Yes, aluminium sulfate, commonly known as alum, is commonly used. Aluminium salt is even cheaper, but iron salts are more effective than pH. Then the aeration, diffusion of taste. So there are different types of aerator, granulator, concentrator, diffused and mechanical. So the aerator is nothing but supply the oxygen into the water. Like a fish tank, we will put the motor and put up. There is a diffuser. Supply the oxygen. How does it come from? So this is gravity aerator. Captured. So waterfall by the gravitation force. Gravity force. So the diffused aerator. The fountain narrator. So here you can see the time of aeration is 10 to 30 minutes, and with the fixing this time, 0.2 to 0.4 liters of water required for 1 liter of water. This uh, through the nozzle, air is pumped. So, in the mechanical aerator, lifting paddles, standing for population are used. Paddles, uh, paddles may be used as toughness, toughness, toughness. Then, this is the mixing basin where the coagulators uh, are mixed here afterwards, taken to coagulation tank. In the panels, it is like a, a station. Then, flocculation is a slow mixing or agitating process in which destabilized colloidal particles are brought into intimate contact in order to promote the flock formation. 
rate of population depends upon types of amount of density, types of fire plant, dosage of fire plant, and mean velocity gradient and dosage. Then clarify of calculator. The clarifier and calculator are provided in the special unit that is called clarify calculator. So the mixing chamber is a clarifier. The plot formation chamber is calculator. So the calculating chamber is provided in the center of the clarifier. So the velocity of flow is 0.3 meter per second. Mechanical capacity filtration, the process of passing the water through the bits of such granular material is known as filtration. The types of filtration unit here you can see flow tap filter, rapid cell filter, pressure filter.
So next class we'll see the types of uh, screening, types of segmentation time, and in detail process of calculation, working principles.